here at Sun and Fun for two reasons. Number one is that we provide uh, kits and planes uh, the, in the CGS Hawk models of the Ultra, the Single, and the Outback. And more specifically and specially, we have with us this year Hawk number one, the prototype that first appeared at Sun and Fun here in 1982. That makes this our 40th anniversary. This prototype was the very first ultralight styled airplane that came to Sun and Fun and was true three axis control like a general aviation airplane and the first true ultralight part 103. The designer and original owner of the company, Chuck Sazarczyk, is kind of a legend in bringing this airplane and won in 1982 here at Sun and Fun the best new aircraft design. This plane returned to Sun and Fun in 2006 where Chuck flew it down the runway here at Paradise City one last time and then donated it to the museum here at Lake Linden Regional Airport. It sat there for a while until such time as they moved it to the outside and uh, some friends of, of Chuck's family and Hawk owners went to the museum to see Hawk number one prototype and uh, it was sitting outside. After several weeks of negotiating with the EAA Museum they agreed that they would take the airplane and they would refurbish it and bring it back to the shows at some point in the future. The Hawk renovation is about 70% complete. We've rebuilt the original Cayuna 430 engine. We have redone the upholstery just the way it was. We've redone the original instrumentation. We have the original color sails that we're going to put on it and it will look like a completed airplane by Oshkosh this year. Chuck Sozarczyk had a dream to make something of an ultralight type aircraft fly like a general aviation airplane. And before the development of this with the enclosed cockpit and wheels, you used to have to foot launch ultralight airplanes. So you would literally have holes in, in the floor and you would run along with it until you got enough speed and, and power and then lift your legs and try to continue to fly. So there's a lot of different variations of flight and uh, his goal was to have an ultralight airplane that flew like your 172. This airplane has flown so well for so long, we have stayed very tried and true to the aeronautical design of it. We haven't changed anything as it relates to the wing shape, the control surfaces, or anything like that. We still use the same Dacron Sailmaker that the company used in the early 80s, and we've stayed, again, very true to the design of the airplane in honor of how well it's always flown. If you build this airplane the way we're presenting it here today, you'd be in it for about $21,000 with a 38 horsepower engine and a minimalist panel. It's a lot of fun to fly low and slow, not necessarily for long cross-country trips, even though some folks do that, but it's a wonderful way to experience flight, not only as a new pilot, but some of the older pilots are now transgressing back to something that's small and slow like this, just to keep flying and enjoying the sensation of flight itself. Well, I think CGS Hawk in celebrating its 40th anniversary, one of the things I comment to people is I feel fortunate enough being a third owner in the company that I can carry on the tradition that Chuck Sazarczyk started for us 40 years ago. And it's my honor to do that until it's time for me to pass that legacy on to someone else who hopefully will, will, will keep our Hawks flying in the future.